Hi everyone, my name is Ken. Welcome to This House. Today we are in downtown St. Louis, Missouri, exploring the Cosmopolitan Building. This is an exclusive tour, and this will be the first time it's ever been on camera. So what do you say we go explore? Built in 1896, the Cosmopolitan Building stands out on Olive Street in downtown St. Louis with a neo-Gothic limestone facade that has been carefully restored. The building once housed the Clark Peeper Company, which was St. Louis's oldest surviving furniture manufacturing company. Now, before we go inside, I'd like to take a moment to give a huge shout out to Justin Strom with Circa Properties for opening the doors here for us. Walking inside the Cosmopolitan, we are immediately stunned by just how massive this space is with so many intricate artistic details played out throughout here. So first, let's start by just looking out. We can see the ceiling murals and the plaster medallions from which ceiling fans are suspended. There are also these vintage lanterns that hang from the ceiling. Now, as we bring our eyes down, we can see the custom tile work, which is delineated by wrought iron, which starts to bring you up a slight slope to the main area. In moving further into the space, we arrive at a Gothic fireplace, which has two built-ins on either side of it. So let's take a moment to see some of these details before heading in a little further. Now, this fireplace and these built-ins were both rescued from a historic home in Ladue. The home was being torn down to clear out space for newer homes to be built, and the owner of this building found it in his heart to rescue these charming pieces and bring them into this building. So it's just really amazing to see that these local pieces have been reinstalled here to be given a second chance at life. Beyond the fireplace and directly facing one of the built-ins is this beautiful bar. It has a frosted glass top with engravings on it saying the Cosmopolitan, as well as a mirrored background that also has the words Cosmopolitan printed out on them. And we can also take a moment to appreciate the fretworks and all of the wood carvings, as well as these intricate rosettes that play out across this magnificent piece. And finally, this brings us to the very end of the space. So there's this beautiful wooden door over here, once again, intricately and ornately carved. And let's take a moment to see the hardware on here too, because it's really interesting. So what do you say we keep exploring? Coming through this door, this takes us into the back stair hall. We can see the stairs that run up, and this goes all the way to the top of the building and also down to the basement. Now, we're going to use the elevator in just a second, which is directly ahead of me. So let's go ahead and turn around and take a look at this. But on our way there, let's stop and pause because there are these beautiful tile mosaics that are 100% custom made for the space. So you're not going to find these in any other building in St. Louis. So to ascend in this building, we are going to take the elevator, which is right here. Come on through here and I'll show you how this works because this is just so fascinating. First, we take down the band here and then we close this first door. And then we close this all the way. And then we're going to go up to the mezzanine, so we'll just hold this button in, and this is going to take us right up there. Stepping out of the elevator, we arrive at the mezzanine. There are two workspaces set up to either side of me. As we continue further down, we can overlook 
the lobby area where we first entered. And there's some stunning details to see here. As we can see the lotus on the wall that has been faux to look like rich wood grains. Now, as we turn the corner, there is a hallway that takes us back to the stair hall. And we'll go out there in just a moment. But first, I want us all to take a peek inside this bathroom. Let's look at this gothic door here and come check out this hardware. And now that we've seen everything on the mezzanine, let's keep exploring. We've just stepped out of the elevator and these double doors will take us to a bit of a storage area. We'll just peek our heads in here real fast and then we're going to continue straight down the hallway. Arriving at the end of the hallway, this takes us into basically a storage room, but this collection is just so amazing. Now, usually we focus on the architecture, but there are some items in here that just, you guys need to see them. So let's take a look around and then we'll continue on up to the next floor. Stepping out of the elevator, we now arrive on the third floor, and this is the first apartment that we'll be seeing. Directly behind me is the kitchen and a full bathroom. We'll just take quick peeks at this, and then we're going to move along. Now moving deeper into the space, it goes straight back to the front of the building. So let's take a moment to see some of these details as we make our way down there. There are all of these niches that are built into the supports that create arches in a series that goes down kind of like a colonnade. Off to the other side, we can see obelisks that are supporting a lofted space. At the end of the colonnade, it terminates into the sleeping area and living area. So let's turn around here and see this because this is just amazing. Now this living area, it has a full wall of windows that does look out onto Olive Street. Behind me is that lofted area, so we'll just take a peek up there. And before we do, let's notice how these shapes here on the banister match some of the angles that we've been seeing play out along the walls. Now that we've seen the entire apartment, let's keep exploring this building. Stepping out onto the fourth floor, this floor is mostly original to how the building had been previously. Now, if we turn around and look, we can see that the Clark Peeper Company logo is still up here on one of the ceiling beams. Before we leave this space, let's take a moment to look around, and then we're going to go see the last floor.
Now that we've seen this space, let's head on up to the fifth floor. Welcome to the fifth floor. All right, come on out of the elevator and let's start looking at the fifth floor penthouse. So directly behind me are the doors that lead into the penthouse proper. And this was where we first introduced this building at the very beginning of the video. Before we go through there, let's take a moment to see this kitchen. So this is absolutely stunning. We can see the joists coming out curved and arched above us. We can see stonework all around us, old doors, and all of these repurposed windows with their stained glass and backlit by neon lights. Now, as we turn around, the kitchen has just one of the most phenomenal views of the downtown St. Louis skyline. And just the details that abound in this space are just leaving me absolutely breathless. Now that we've seen the kitchen, let's go on and explore. Walking into this space, the tile from the kitchen continues in here with its tile borders and creates a small platform from which the doors can open onto. From the rest of this, it will now become carpet. Now let's turn around and really see some of these details. There are these stone columns that lead up to these rounded trusses. There are what appear to be brass insets in the woodwork. And it just keeps going. There is a closet over here. And then a grand staircase with wrought iron bringing you all the way up to a lofted sleeping area. Now, bringing your eyes back down, we come across a solid marble fireplace that was imported from China, so we can take a moment to appreciate this as well as the surrounding woodwork. Continuing further into this penthouse, we come to a lofted seating area so we can see that there's some steps that take you up to some seats where you can sit down and see the movie screen behind you. And over on the far side is the bedroom and these windows are just gorgeous the way that they round out underneath the stone. Thank you all for joining me on this tour. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time on This House.